you're welcome once again to the channel as usual uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell today we are here once again we want to talk about the cool way store and the di pericolo okay so in our previous videos we talked about cuneta and uh, all today we want to talk about the cool way and the cool way uh, is also senare di pericolo cool way we mean the caves so um there are few things we need to understand this cool way are the same principle the same rules we want to we we need to follow so uh when we talk about caves um, the things we need to know is that uh, it, we have a uh, limited visibility so our comportment is to reduce our velocity and take a, a lot of uh, serious precautions so let's get to what the notes telling us SNO in Toronto is uh, strada not written linear so because uh, the road is not uh, straight forward uh, we um, Yes, it is not on the plain way that we see ahead of us. Dove solitamente manca la visibilità sono vietati. So in this case, um, some of these things are avoided. No, it's a pass. So the overtaking, la sosta, the parking, l'invenzione di marcia, so the um, U-turn, e la retromarcia, and our usual reverse. So, se la, se, se la curva si trova in una strada a senso unico oppure a doppio senso con quattro corsie, due per ogni senso di marcia, il suo passo si può effettuare. So, if we have a road like this one we see right here, that um, uh, two corsie for any senso di marcia. So, maybe if we have two uh, carajata, separate carajata, or... Um, a way that maybe um, vehicles don't really uh, meet themselves you know at the opposite direction then we can do so pass so okay um allora so the comportment is to so come buon comportamento bisogna diminuire la velocità so the most important thing we need to do is to reduce our velocity allora So, in relazione alla visibilità a radio della curva e allo stato della filmatici, so if our, our tires are also consumed, you know, it makes us to not to have a good aderenza or a good, uh, um, a good, uh, yes, uh, aderenza or we don't have a good movement on the ground, you know, so we need to reduce our velocity. So like the most important thing if we are in caves is to re reduce our velocity. Il segnale può essere integrato con un pannello recante la scritta tonante. So we can have uh, um, other cartelli, like something we see right here, okay, that in is written tonante and tonante means a series of uh, caves which normally we can see in uh, on, on mountains or areas where there are multiple of caves allora so let's see here il segnale raffigurato pronuncia una curva pericolosa a destra è vero il segnale su curva pericolosa a destra ok so we have this curva a destra and that is it allora il segnale raffigurato è posto di norma a 150 metri dal punto di inizio della curva. So this one tells us that 150 meters ahead of you there is a, there is a cave, ok? And uh, it's pericolous. Point 3 può essere integrato con un pannello con la scritta tonante. So like I said, we can see tonante that indicates that we have multiples of caves or series of caves ahead of us. Allora, quattro, preannuncia una strada pericolosa per ridotta visibilità. So, when we see this, it tells us that, okay, uh, we, have, uh, we don't have uh, good visibility and for that matter, it makes the, this area to be, to be dangerous. Point five, il segnale refrigerato richiede di moderare la velocità. So, like we said, it tells us to reduce or moderate our velocity. Point six, uh, preannuncia una strada pericolosa. So this thing tells us that okay, we have cave, and when it, it is we have cave, it is dangerous for us. Okay. 
Point seven in presenza di segnare il figurato posto su strada a doppio senso di decorazione con due sole corsie si deve decorare il più vicino possibile al margine destro della carreggiata. So, um, if we are meeting vehicles at the opposite direction having two lanes, okay, only two corsie. So these two lanes, one going this way and the other one coming at the opposite direction, we need to always um, transit at the uh, extremely or uh, to the yes extreme right side of the road. Okay. Allora, point eight. Pronuncia. Allora, segnare il refugiato pronuncia un tratto di strada in cui è necessario regolare la velocità in relazione alla visibilità e al raggio della curva. So, depending on the um, visibility or the visibility or the how the curve is made, we decide to reduce our velocity in correspond uh, in corresponding to that. All right, so the next thing we have is the opposite of this. So if it is not at the extra, curva at the extra, if we are not having the curve at our, our right side, then we are having it to, to our left, okay? And the same rules, the same principles, nothing changes. Only that this one is a peri, a curva a sinistra. So as usual, reduce your velocity, you know, the comportment is the same even for this one. Okay, so what we saw here is the same. Only that if you see this cartello and it tells you, "Is segnare il refrigerato pronuncia una curva uh, pericolosa a destra," then you look at the sign and you say, "No, this one is a sinistra." Quindi è falso. Okay, this one is a sinistra to your left. So if it tells you this one is a, 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 a um, Curva pericoloso to your right, you say no to my left. So it makes it to be fast. So if it says a curva pericoloso a, a sinistra, è vero. Okay. So the same thing. If this one says curva pericoloso a sinistra, it is fast. So okay. It is curva pericoloso a destra. All right. So that is it for that. Now let's go to doppia curva. La prima a destra. So the same comportment, okay? Only that we are having two curves. The first one to the right. This is the first one here. We have the first one to the right, okay? All right. So the first one to the right, uh, to the yes, to the right. So essendo una tratta dove manca la visibilità, okay? So so passo is vietato, you know. We we need to um, reduce our velocity. The same comportment we had already, only that it is doppia curve, double curves. The first one to the right. Okay. Is segnare refugiato pronuncia una doppia curva la prima destra. So looking at this tells us that okay, it's vero. Point two. Is segnare refugiato pronuncia una tra uh, una strada non rettilineo che limita la visibilità su so, a road that is not a plain or it is not that diritto which uh, limits our visibility is vero il segnale raffigurato pronuncia um, il raffigurato può essere integrato con un pannello indicante tonante so the same tonante we said we can see even under this one all right Point four, il segnale raffigurato richiede di moderare la velocità per potersi arrestarsi in caso di ostacolo improvviso. So when there is an impromptu uh, or immediate uh, pericolo or danger, we need, to, um, we, we, we need to reduce our velocity so that in case there is any dangerous in, in, improviso or uh, impromptu um, danger, we can be able to 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 stop okay point five la figura presenta un, per, un pericolo so this one is a pericolo is our triangle and we have our pericolo inside as usual all right so point six is segnare il raffigurato pronuncia di norma a 150 metri una doppia curva pericolosa so at 150 uh, meters ahead of us we have doppia curva pericolosa in presenza di segnare il raffigurato bisogna moderare la velocità. So, 
when we see this i told you always to reduce moderate level of velocity always is true okay Insegnare il raffigurato per un uh, può essere integrato con un pannello che indica la lunghezza del tratto di strada percorsa. So we can see this sign okay that tells us the kilometers or the, the yes the kilometers or how long it will take us to move away from this or uh, yes from this pericolo okay how long the, the, the curve takes or it takes us to 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 um, overcome the curve, let's say. All right, point nine, su strada a due cose, a solo cosie e a doppio senso di circolazione. In presenza del segnale raffigurato, si deve marciare il più vicino possibile a margine destro della carreggiata. So like I said, we need to, um, to transit at the extreme right side of the road. È necessario per correre la curva con più attenzione in caso di pioggia. So when the, uh, it's raining, we need to go with uh, a lot more attention. Allora, in presenza del segnale raffigurato, non è consentito fare il sopasso su strada a due sole corsie e con due senso di marcia. So when we have only two corsie and uh, we are moving vehicles at the opposite direction, we don't want to do sopasso because it causes an accident. All right, so... If it is not uh, doppia curva la prima a destra, then we, we have doppia curva la prima a sinistra. Okay, so doppia curva la prima a sinistra. So, if you see this cartello and it says that uh, doppia curva la prima a destra, it is faster because you see this is to the left. Okay, so it becomes doppia curva la prima a sinistra not destra okay all right so the same comportment the same thing only thing is that this one is to the left okay the other one is to the right but the same rules reduce your velocity don't do overtaking when we have only two uh two uh cos here and move, meeting vehicles at the opposite direction we don't do so far so we don't do retro matcha we don't do inversion in the matcha and that is it on in caves okay in caves all right so that is it for today's lesson we are going to continue the scenario di pericolo and uh, see you in another lesson <music>